let's begin with today's video in today's video i am going to tell you how to read environment variables in jmeter test suite let's see what is the first step to do that go to jmeter and create a test suite first add a thread group inside it and then a transaction controller and http request let me take you to jmeter already i have opened the jmeter tool let me rename this test plan as read environment variables press control s to save this so inside this add a thread group right click add thread group then add a transaction controller and also add http request inside the transaction controller today what i am going to show you is how to read the protocol from the environment variable how to read server name and path these three variables i would go and set as environment variable in the system and then i would like to call these three variables here let me show you what request i am going to execute so i will take you to the postman now in postman you can see this is a create patient http request which is a post request and this is the details of it so in order to execute this let me just configure my http request that would be first the post request and it would need a body data so what is the body data this is the body data i will just copy from the postman and paste here let me save this control s yes. now i don't want to hard code all these values like https the server name and the path here because i would like to read those values from environment variables okay so let me just see what is the next step the next step is to set environment variables in system how can we set environment variables go to start button type env and open edit the system environment variables click on environment variables inside the system variables we need to add the environment variables to add click on new and then provide the variable name whatever is like for example my var and then what is the value you are going to set like 1 2 3 something like this and click on okay that will add your environment variable just keep in mind that whatever environment variables you set here you need to restart your system to make the changes effective otherwise this value will not be read and this environment variable is of no use until unless you restart the system in order to avoid the restarting mechanism in this video i have just already set few environment variables which are needed like this fire server protocol https is the protocol to execute this request i have set the name of the variable i have given as fire server protocol you can give any name but you need to make sure that you are calling with tag name itself in the jmeter so the first variable is set as fire server protocol and then the value is https what is the next variable happy.fire.org this is the server name i would like to set this as environment variable just go and see if i have set it the server name fire server name is the variable name and the value is happy.fire.org same way path is based off of slash patient so this also i have set it here if you can see fire server path is the variable name and the variable value is based off of slash patient after adding it click on okay and then okay again and don't forget to restart your machine this is how we set environment variables next step is to add a config element named user defined variables in the test plan right click on the test plan add go to config element the last option is user defined variables just drag it to the top so that you know you are reading some variables from here which is passing to this http request so this way you need to add user defined variables first next step is to add some bean shell script to read the environment variables set in the machine let me show you how to do that so in the user defined variables click on this add button it will add a new line there is a syntax to add bean shell script follow these steps dollar curly braces underscore underscore bean shell system dot get env so it will read the system environment variable in the apostrophe you need to pass the variable name from the system go to environment variables again and 
copy the variable name from this first variable is fire server protocol and the value is https let me just copy the name of the variable go here and paste inside this and i would like to read this variable with the name fire server protocol in my jmeter tester same way copy other variables from the system environment variables okay just copy this paste here and copy the name of another variable fire server name and paste it here and the same thing here remember that you can change the name of this variable here as well and don't forget to use this name in the further request same way add the third variable so this syntax is same dollar curly braces underscore underscore bean shell system dot ktnv whatever variable name you have set in the environment variable you can pass that name here fire server path as my third argument same thing here okay all the three variables are passed that is how we uh, read environment variables using the bean shell script next step is to invoke these variables defined from http request go to http request and invoke those variables from here at this uh, request how can i do that let me just copy the name of this variable first fire server protocol so to read that variable there is a syntax use dollar curly braces and paste it inside that's all the same way copy another mm, that is fire server name and pass it in place of server name dollar curly braces inside that the variable name and the other variable as well path dollar in the path field curly braces that is fire server path press control s that will save the changes now in order to execute this request i need http header manager to pass a header that is content type i need to pass to execute this request the value is application fire plus json and as well as i would like to add some assertion a response assertion i would like to check the response of this i need 201 response in order to see the result of this at a listener view results tree here now our request is ready we are reading the environment variables from this pinch script uh, at the user defined variables and setting it as a variable in jmeter and that variable is again getting called inside the http request let me just execute this and show you if it treats the values of environment variable set click on start as you can see the request got failed click on the request and see what is the error it has thrown only http is red so what's wrong let us just check what is there in the logs So in the logs evaluation of system dot get env fire server protocol uh, attempt to resolve method get env uh, undefined variable of class name is system okay sorry this has gone uh, wrong here i have named it as system not instead of system so let me just as it is copy pasted so this error keeps on going for other variables as well let me just execute it once again and show you the result let me close this logs and click on start as you can see the request got executed successfully and it is in green we got the response as 201 created the patient data got created here and let me see uh, what is the request variables whatever i have passed i have passed https as protocol happy.fire.org as the server name and base r for slash patient as the path these are all read from the environment variables so this way you can set environment variables and read the values of it this way you can avoid the hard coding of the variables if you have any queries if you face any challenge to achieve this you can call me or you can uh, comment below this video 
I would like to help you to achieve this or any other problem you are facing. I would like to solve that in the JMeter. That's all in the today's video guys. Keep tuning up until the next video and if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel JMeter Consultant. Thank you. Signing off. Altaf Hussain Huttara.